Now that we've spent more than a fair share of our time talking about the file permission scheme, let's jump right into modifying permissions. You can use the chmod command to modify the file permissions uh, for any given file. And, and the way you'll do this is chmod and then the permissions in binary that you would like to add. So let's just go ahead and modify the test.txt file to have 777 permissions. Now this means that everyone can read, write, and execute this file. It's, it's the least secure of all the permissions. It's the least restrictive. Uh, and I guess you would say it the other way is the most permissive. So anybody can do anything to this file. And now we see that the file actually appears in a different color in the shell because of its different permissions. And if we take a closer look here with LSL at test.txt, you will now see, compare it to what we have above, uh, rather than having read-write privileges for the user that owns the file and members of the group that owns the file and, and read-only permissions for all others, we now have read-write and execute, read-write and execute, read-write and execute permissions on this file. Now, if we want to modify it back to what it was, chmod, and let's see, it had a read-write, which is going to be six. Read-write without execute is six, and that was the same for the group, and then read-only was four. So chmod 664 test.txt, and now we can see it's no longer green. We've modified the permissions, and if we go back here, uh, pardon me, we want the LSL specifically on test.txt, you can see it's back to its um, former permissions. So that's how simple modifying permissions really are. Let me do it just one more time for you here. chmod, let's say that uh, with a 700 permissions, uh, then only the owner of the file would be able to read, write, and execute. Uh, members of the group which owns the file couldn't do anything. They couldn't read, write, or execute, and all others could not read, write, or execute. So chmod 700 test.txt. And here we'll just take a quick peek at that. You can see the colors changed again, read, write, and execute, and then the rest are hyphens. There are no, um, no permissions there for anyone else. Uh, changing the owner of a file is also very similar. We will use sudo, as we need root uh, permissions here. In this case, we will sudo chown, and then uh, whomever we want to own the file. In this case, I'm going to give the file over to root. So you can see up there that I am the owner, Cody is the owner. Um, but now, after issuing this command, and of course putting in my password to gain the root privileges, uh, then we can take another look here and we'll be able to see that root now owns the file. Okay, uh, changing the group. Very simple, same concept here. Let's go ahead and give that over to root, test.txt. And, uh, oh, sorry, sudo. Ah, that's important, right? Sudo change group to root because remember, root owns this file. So in order, in order to do this, uh, I, I have to have root privileges. So I, 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 really, I really am hoping that you understand what just happened here. I'm going to go over it in a second. Okay, and you can see now that root is both the owner of the file and root is the group that owns the file as well. Root, root. Now what happened above there is I gave the file over to root. So let me sudo chown back to Cody, back to my account, so that now you can see I own the file. And now, since I am logged in as me, I can change the group back to Cody without having to issue sudo. But because root was the owner of the file, you need root's permission to, to change that, because root owns the file. And you can uh, yet again, see it right here. Okay, that is how simple everything is using chmod, chown, and uh, chgroup. Uh, in a bonus video, I will teach you about ACLs. 
access control lists, which are another way that you can manage file permissions on a system. We'll talk about that in the bonus video. You don't have to know that stuff. These these are the basics of file permissions, modifying and changing file permissions, uh, changing uh, whomever owns the file and uh, which group owns the file. But to, if you want to learn a little more about uh, permissions using access control lists, uh, watch the bonus video. Otherwise, you can skip right on to, um, to the next module.